Morning, Pastor Steve here. Uh, Philemon, the fourth verse and the only chapter. I did not want to do anything without your consent, so that any favor you would do would not be forced, but would be voluntary. Now this verse, among many others, speaks of, of a heart attitude. We've talked about the heart being the core of our beings, our thoughts and our actions. They all flow from our heart. Here, as Paul wrote to his friend Philemon concerning a runaway slave, he doesn't command him as an apostle, but rather entreats him as a friend. Note here, he's after a, a proper heart attitude. Uh, as Chaplain Joe was teaching this recently on Sunday, this thought lodged in my mind. I can grudgingly do things, or I can joyfully do things. Okay. My wife often wants me to do things, play games, I'll go to this place or that. And I love her, so I say, yep, I'll do as you wish. So I go. Sometimes I grumble the whole way there and the whole way demonstrate maybe my love isn't all that pure right at the moment. I was starting that the other day and a song popped into my head and I grinned and I looked at her and said, man, I'm having a Willie Nelson moment. She knew what I meant. That song, You're Always On My Mind, speaks of a man who can't do the right things for his lady, but I'm thinking about you all the time. You're always on my mind. Now, it's a pretty song. Don't send me letters. I was guilty on this, uh, of the same level of caring by doing what you like, but not being there in my heart. It's the flip side of the coin, but it's relevant. Like my wife, so my Heavenly Father. She wants me to voluntarily enter into the shared joy of life, not by compulsion, but because I love her. God is the same. Paul shows in this letter to Philemon that in every case, we would have right hearts. In our giving, Paul said to the church at Corinth, don't give grudgingly, but give from the heart, freely not under compulsion or necessity. In our serving, elders don't do it from compulsion, but because you really desire that office. See, God's not just interested in your service, but in your service with a right heart, a right attitude. I pray that I might have a right heart, both in serving God and in serving the woman that God has gifted me with. How's your service to God and others? Is it grudging or with your whole heart? You ponder that, Pastor Steve.